is a wax museum here. Next extent. Oh, Jim, one's gonna jump in. <laughs> they were using flash in there.
your arm flat against the wall. This ensures the food that you have in your hand is aligned with our raised mouth, which are found underneath your body. So have that food completely out of the floor. Have your arm flat against the wall. Right, wait for a ray to swim over your hand. And what they do, just let go of that food. And they will suck it right into their mouth. Our rays are fed different ways and it is entirely up to them whether or not they do want to come up and feed from you. So do remember to be nice and still and be nice and patient and, look and wait for that opportunity to feed our rays when they do come over your hand. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you joining us, we have only friends. Rays such as crab, prawns, squid, and fish. Now if you happen to be looking at a particular ray and you are wondering whether or not this ray is a male or female, what you need to be looking for are male reproductive organs known as claspers. This is a big word, but essentially what it means is that their skeletons are made entirely from cartilage, just like our ears and noses. Sharks and rays share a lot of similarities, but one being that they can only Swim forwards. Have you ever happened to enter into the ocean? Yeah, yeah. Very much like a shark. Yeah. The quickest way to decide which one it is is simply by looking to see where the gills are located. Eat it. But on a shark's body, you will find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your hands under it. Yeah. Why do we come here to Martha's birthday? Do you work at Martha's birthday? Hey, dude. 
Like fish? I'm just saying. No way. Thank you. 